Hey guys, welcome back to another round of War Robots with Stupendous. As you can see here, we are on LTE. <laughs> so I'm actually waiting for my boss to get back to me. I'm, I'm sitting in my, my work truck, so if the mic quality is a little bit off, it's because I just have my phone. I don't have any of my uh, my recording equipment. I usually have a, a blue snowball mic hooked up to my laptop, and that's what I record audio with in a sound-controlled environment. But I figured the cab of the truck is decently sound-controlled. Um, yeah, I got to get out of the way of this, uh, regatta. So just wanted to, uh, make sure that we had a hold on the center beacon before, before anything, but that, uh, regatta definitely tore through me as I was, uh, trying to do so. So, oh crap, man, I was, I was trying to change targets there. <laughs> then we had that Bulgasari in the way there too. Oh, I'm about to get wrecked, about to get taken out. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, I'm, I'm I'm uh, waiting at this job site because I don't have the door code and the the uh, owners of the house aren't home right now. Um, they're up in Alaska on like a fishing trip or something like that. So I'm just waiting to hear back from him so that I get the door code so I can go in and start uh, doing the demolition. We're remodeling a couple bathrooms in a house we previously remodeled uh, the entire upstairs of with the exception of these two bathrooms. So. Uh, so that's that's what I'm doing for work today. I do uh, I do construction like remodels and uh, like fire and flood restorations and stuff like that. So anyway, um, a lot of you guys were requesting the Orkins on um, on Hey Hey, and I have actually played with the Orkins on it a lot, and I had a lot of footage of it. But it's part of that stuff that we talked about um, in the video that I posted this morning. So it's it's Monday afternoon for me right now. Um, and yeah, so I had recorded the round for today for Monday, um, like right before I had uploaded it. Holy crap! I just went forever. Oh, hey, C shot. I didn't know he was in here. Um, he's an amazing player. I'll, I'll put a link down to his channel down below. He doesn't post like tons of content up there. He just like posts some gameplay sometimes. But he's one of those people that can like randomly make a Raijin Thunders work in like Champion League, and it's like super impressive. He's also like amazing with the carnage and stuff. And yeah, I don't know, just a really cool player. So if I remember, hopefully I remember, I'll, I'll put a link to his channel down below. Um, but anyway, yeah, it was funny. I had no idea who was in here, and then I just like ran into him when I like flew really far on this guy. So when you're when you're taking a beacon, like if you're if you're playing Beacon Rush, uh, like which we're not, but if we were pay, playing Beacon Rush, you wouldn't want this beacon right here. Like you wouldn't want to kill the guy and then go take the beacon. If possible, you want to move in first so that you can go grab the beacon without, uh, like, without that guy respawning. So you want to you want to kill him like as you're turning it, if that makes sense. Um, and that's obviously not always ideal. You know, circumstances don't always line up like that. But that's how you keep someone from respawning on that point right away because otherwise they're just going to keep coming. And then you know when your teammates or when their teammates see that the point is being contested they're going to come in and drop in at the same point and help that guy too. So you do need to be careful with it. But anyway, <laughs> that's your, there's your fun fact for the day. So that, that wasn't the best, uh, Hey, Hey Orkins, um, gameplay. I've, I've had some really, really amazing, like million damage rounds, like mostly with it. Um, <laughs> hopefully we can get a, a video that doesn't end up getting jacked up or, you know, overly laggy and stuff like that. I try to only post stuff that like is higher quality so I guess I don't even know if I'll end up posting this one. I don't know how the mic quality will turn out. Or, let's see if we can grab that guy. I don't know how the mic quality will turn out. And I also don't know, um, like, it's, it's already been a little bit framey from being on a not-that-great LTE connection. So, nice. <laughs> that was ideal because that guy uh, popped his shield. I think we just got a double kill there. Maybe the other guy got the other kill. I'm not sure. But, uh, anyway, yeah, that was ideal because the Fujin popped his shield. And then I had my jump ready to rock, so... That guy's uh, shooting Tulu's over at me. Oh, nice. A carnage. That's exactly what we want. <laughs> He's moving over to the side, though, so we have to move with him. So we're not just shooting the rock in the building over here. Nice. Good pressure. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. So, any hoozles. You know what? We were talking earlier about that beacon, like, as if this wasn't Beacon Rush. <laughs> and it's totally Beacon Rush. I forgot that's what I had dropped in on. I'm so stupid. <laughs> we had seriously, we had just talked about this the other day, except it was like with squads, and a lot of you guys were like, dude, that totally happens to me when I, you know, when I'm in a squad that I'm not in control of. Like, I lose track of, you know, if we're doing domination or beacon rush or whatever. 
And uh, <laughs> I totally didn't even realize that, uh, that we didn't do Beacon Rush. Oh, that ROG didn't die. I totally switched targets because it's laggy right now. I totally switched targets because I, uh, I assumed that that guy would die. But, oh well. I, I think we'll just leave him there. Oh, never mind. My teammate got him. I was going to say, I'm, I'm not going to bother killing him because he'll be easy to take off the map. And if he's in that bot, that means he's not in another bot, if that makes sense. So, and if I do need to remove him from the field, then, you know, I'll take him out kind of thing. But, crap, crap, crap. He's almost, he's in range, he's in range. Got to turn. So, I, I turned my, uh, I turned my punishers there so that when I dropped off the edge of the rock, I didn't get hung up there uh, and continue to get hit by splash damage. Because the, the hitbox on the punishers is, like, really, really long. So, oh, that wasn't a very uh, long jump. That was, like, a tall jump. Anyway, let's just keep pressuring these guys. Yeah, th this is a little bit framey, but I guess it's not terrible, like, from my from my LTE connection. Holy crap. But, uh, yeah, I definitely needed to change my sensitivity before <laughs> before this round. You see me just, like, waving. <laughs> I was, like, sweeping that guy right there. That was funny. So, oh, look at this Lancelot. He's moving in slow motion. He's like, hello. You know, because hello is exactly what he would say in the middle of a battle. That guy's on the other side of a rock. And I was trying to shoot him. Jumping backwards, avoiding the uh, Tehran fire there from this Ancelot. And uh, I'm actually going to do more damage to him outside of 400 meters anyway because of the bullet spread and the fatness of the Lancelot shield. The bullet spread will work to my advantage outside of 400 meters, um, even though the shields are there because it'll spread around it more and hit the rest of the fatness of the Ancelot. So, so it's good. It's muy muy good. I did not even see this guy over here until just a second ago <laughs> when we were talking about that lance. I like just noticed the arrow out of the corner of my eye. So let's start firing as we as we come over the hill just so we get the wind up going. And then when we come over, we're not going to stand there taking heat for longer than we need to. Otherwise, he would have been able to shoot us twice. But since we had the accelerated state, that worked out. That was a pretty good round, and I don't I don't think it was too framey. It, I'll have to watch it back, but <laughs> um, we might try posting this one for Tuesday's video. So, anyways, thanks so much for coming and checking out the video, guys. If you like to smash the thumbs up button, hey, not too bad. <laughs> Two in a row today. <laughs> anyway, thanks, guys, and I hope you have an amazing day.